Hi YouTube, it says what? I was going through all of my bags and I found this little gem that I had purchased off of eBay a couple years ago for, um, I want to say $25. Maybe I spent more than that, but it was under 40 but I couldn't find the purchase on my eBay account anymore. But um, I had compl completely forgotten about this bag. I thought it wouldn't work for me as an everyday bag um, because it doesn't have a long strap. But more to come on that. If anyone knows the name of this bag, you could really help me out by letting me know what it's called. But it is... 12 inches long, 9 inches high, and 7 inches in depth. I'll show you the um, other sides. Here's the back of the bag. And here's the sides. So you can see it um, is similar to the Olivia, except it doesn't have the um, pockets on the sides and let me show you the bottom of the bag here's the bottom no feet on the bottom it has a very simple Dooney and Burke uh, leather patch there and it's made out of like a cloth a wool material it's in a light tan or light brown with darker brown D&Bs and then the Timoro brown trim. It has a little D-ring on the front there. So anyway, today I packed all of my stuff into it and I do need all of my stuff. And let me show you a little bit more. So you can see that's the cell phone pocket there. So it's an older style bag. It has a leather key keeper if I could get to it with the gold hardware. And it fits all of my stuff. What I like about it is um, these handles can go all the way up my arm. I know you can't really see them there. You know, I can't carry it over my shoulder, but it goes all the way up past the crook of my elbow. So it's very comfortable to carry. So I thought I would use this for a couple days. See how I like it. So anyway, here is my brown Dooney and Burke satchel. Thanks very much for watching. And if anybody knows the name or the collection this is from, I'd be interested in finding out. Thanks. Bye.